going to be playing American Style at Mahjong Time. If you are new to my channel, there are links below the video to lesson playlists and some information about Mahjong Time. If you have any questions, just write them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer any of those questions. I'm going to go ahead and actually join a table. There's one available, so let's join. It may take a few minutes to get another player there, so let's see what happens. Hi, Susie. Welcome to the live stream. Can you hear me okay? I have kind of a new setup. Well, it's not new, but everything's kind of different because I had to kind of move things around a little bit, and we're just getting reconnected. So I'm hoping you can hear me okay. We're going to be playing American Style at Mahjong Time. We're actually launching into a game right now. So I think, let's see here. We've got three flowers. That's kind of nice. So, ooh, ooh. Okay, I've been having all kinds of gremlins today with technology. I hope this comes together tonight. I'm a little nervous. So I'm thinking we have two, four, six, eight. We do have... A dragon. Oh, shoot. I guess I better get my card out. Maybe that will help. Okay. Addition Hands uses four flowers, but sixes are not part of addition this year. Hi, James. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Maureen. Welcome. Welcome. So I think let's hold the north. I may, I think I'm going to actually sacrifice. Oh, shoot. Uh, all right. We got to just get a move on here. Let's just pass these three. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little foggy. Forgive me. Hi, Peggy. Oh, my goodness. I've been on the worst losing streak, and I cannot break out of it. It's been absolutely horrible and so discouraging. I'm fighting discouragement. But I know it comes and goes, doesn't it? I always, well, I don't always, but it just seems like I'm ready to win and then somebody else wins. Ugh, painful. Hi, Kathleen. Welcome to the live stream. I hope everybody can hear me okay. I had to reset all my equipment, and so I feel like I'm in a brand new, brand new office, but really I'm not. This is the first live stream since our new floors were laid, so everything got discombobulated. Maybe we could play the 369 Dragon Hand, the very first one. We've got the flowers. All we need is a three bam to fill up a gap. We have a gap, which I really don't like gaps. Let's see what we can do here. Hi, Susie. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, it'd be not really nice to get a three bam because that's a pair. I hate gaps, especially if it's a pair. Okay, maybe maybe we'll get it uh, with this next set of passes. Okay, James, you've been one away from winning the past three games and lost. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness. It's so discouraging, isn't it? <laughs> you think, oh, this one's mine. I got it in the bag. And then somebody wins. Oh, painful. Oh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to hold that seven band because maybe we could play six, seven dragon. Let's pass the seven crack. So sorry, I've had to cancel live streams uh, this earlier this month. This uh, floor project really was a nightmare. Well, it wasn't that bad. It just was, there was a lot of work involved and it affected my, my filming schedule big time. Okay, we need to pick three tiles. Oh, I don't like passing white dragons, but I'm gonna do it. Hi, Elizabeth, thank you. 
yes, it does feel good to be back. I'm not quite back to normal yet. Um, oh, look, we got a keeper. We got a green dragon. And I don't think I want to pass one suit odds. I think because we have a gap with no three bam, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up and give up on the 369 hand. Anytime I have a gap, I make that a lower priority. So we're going to switch to the consecutive hand with dragons, the third one down. We'll just have to give up a flower for that. Let's see if we can get three tiles. Hi, Irene. Oh, thank you. I'm glad the videos have helped you. I hope they help. I put in a, a lot of time and effort in them and it really makes me happy when I hear that the videos help people. Oh, they want one, one tile. Oh, shoot. I like waiting for players to tell me how many they want because I don't like passing one tile. I would rather decline. North wind. Okay, here we go. Tell me if the uh, Mahjong time voice is too loud and I can turn that down. White dragon. Um, I, th I think I already said one, it was too late as far as passing blind. And not only that, but I would have no control over what that other person was gonna pass. I just don't like passing one blind or I don't like passing one tile because typically that means they are close to their hand. Either that or maybe they're in between and can't decide, I don't know. But if anybody ever says that they want one tile, I usually decline and just keep what I have. So I think we should play the consecutive Nine. Kong hand with dragons, third one down under consecutive run. We could probably get rid of this flower. We're gonna Kong that. Kong. We have Joker bait with the nine dot. dot. And of course we can get rid of the eight bam too. Thank you, Kathy. Seven dot. Welcome everybody to the live stream. Say hi in chat if you can see down at the bottom i think that you click on live chat underneath the suggested videos we got a keeper we really need a seven bam or a six bam to get set but uh if you want to chat look for the live chat text underneath the suge suggested videos on the right panel of your screen so that you can chat and let me know if you ever have any questions about why I do what I do or if you have any recommendations as well. There's always a good strategy out there if people are willing to share it. So I'm open to ideas. So I'm hoping that we can get some joker bait going here with the nine dots. That joker bait idea is really uh, time sensitive. I try to hold on to it till just before the uh, third wall. But you definitely want to get rid of joker bait before the end of the third wall. Joker bait and uh, valuable tiles. I really would like to draw a six bam or a seven bam to get set. Seven characters. Mm. Oh, one Susie dot. says you. Uh, uh, oh, you actually meant pass one blind on the last pass. I don't remember what happened. I think I already said yet yeah, uh, one before I really thought it through. Nine. But I wouldn't want to pass bl one blind. I would just decline and say, I don't want any. Anytime somebody wants one tile, I'd just rather keep what I have because I don't want to chance that they're, you know, one away from a winning hand and give it to them. That would not feel very good. Uh, Irene says, uh, your videos have helped. Oh, we got a keeper. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're set. Um, let's see. Oh, Charleston Forest has helped you. 
Oh, very nice. Oh, on the last right pass. Oh, well, I was still, I had tiles to pass, so I wasn't in a position where I needed to pass blind. I think the player across, oh, there's a keeper, Kong. Okay, did I mess something up? Oh no, we weren't set. Uh, we still need another tile. I thought we were set. Oh well, that's okay. Um, yeah, so I don't remember. Um, I, I had tiles to pass, so I don't think I would have passed blind. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, look, there's no seven bams out. It would be really nice to draw a seven bam because then the hand would be pure, which would mean double the value. So let's see that two bam. There's a joker up there. Do you see up here how it's kind of white? It's whiter than the other tiles. That means that's a joker. So if we draw a two bam, we can snag that. There are just those two, two bams are out. So that joker is available. Although I would much rather draw a seven bam. And really, everybody should know what we're playing. Either they're going to think we need a five bam or a seven bam because of what we have exposed. Anytime you have two exposures, you give away your hand. So the player across from us is playing one, two, three, four consecutive. We'll get rid of the three. There's that three. That was the gap that we had. Bummer. Uh, turn up the voice a little. Let me see here. Hmm. Let me figure out how to do that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'll I'll see if I could turn my monitor voice down instead. Let's see. Okay, let me know if that's better. And let's see here. No, my my audio is maxed out. So I can't turn up my volume. You'll need to turn your device volume up a little. Is that better? Oh, they're working on a pure hand too. Uh-oh, they need five cracks and there are none out. Two, three, four, five. There are still no seven bams out and I have a flower. I need to get rid of this flower. Let's see. Yeah, we're heading into the end of the third wall. You just kind of have to visualize the length of a wall to figure that part out. Um, once you get to the end of the third wall, you want to get rid of any flowers or um, fresh tiles or joker bait. So I'm going to get rid of that now. Let's hope nobody needs it. Uh-oh. Huh. Ah, uh, see, that's what I mean. I do not want to feed into that. Four dots. Okay, you can't hear the Mahjong Time voice. Okay, let me turn it back up again. I thought you meant my voice. You wanted me to turn up my voice. Uh-oh, we got the five crack. Shoot. Oh, no, and look how much wall we have left. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. If I draw seven bam, I'm playing to win. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right. So, write in chat if you would switch to defense or if you would throw that five crack. I mean, I'm playing a 25 point hand. So are they actually, but my hand's almost pure. And actually we don't know yet if theirs is or not because they could have a joker, but I have their tile. They're playing two, three, four, five. They need a Kong of five cracks and I have a five crack. If I, if I draw a seven bam, I'm going to discard that five crack. Does that, does that make you cringe? There's still no seven bams out. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm cringing inside actually. 
play to win. Yeah, that's kind of the way I usually do it. But it does kind of make me feel cringy inside. Okay, Chris, you'd play to win at this point. Closer to the end, I'd play defense. The challenge here is I don't have very many tiles to pick from. I've got a five crack, which I think is a winning tile for someone, and I have two flowers. The sevens are not out, so really I have all risky tiles right now. Nice. So I, I have no safe discards. No safe discards at all. James says play to win. Now this two dot, there's two out, but somebody, two somebody I think needs that. I knew it. Oh man, I was afraid of that. Okay. And look, the five crack right there. That would have, I had, I had no, I had no recourse. Oh, that's painful. All right. So the player to the right was playing three, uh, two, three, four, five. They were ready to win. Uh, the player who won, won the two, first two, four, six, eight hand with three flowers. The player across was playing six, uh, what were they playing? I don't know. I think they had too far to go. It looks like maybe they were going to try for a two, four, six, eight hand, the same hand as the one is here with the dots, but instead in cracks. But they had two gaps. They had no two crack or four crack. So they had a ways to go. All right. Well, that was a little bit painful. Oh, all right. Well, let's join another table. Maybe it'll be better this time. Okay, here we go. Break up the hand. I had all fresh tiles. Well, I had all risky tiles. No matter what I threw, well, the seven bams would have been okay, but that's just in hindsight because there were none out. So technically, those were fresh tiles. Um, let's see either the five crack or the two dot and I had them both yep that's painful okay so we have a one five I'm thinking little odds or like numbers with fives so I'm going to hold the white dragon and let's see let's get rid of the two seven north um because I don't want to throw a two eight together that would fit into a year hand hi Judy Oh good, I'm so glad you came. If anybody is new to the live stream, write hashtag new in chat. Okay, so we have a seven and an eight. If we get a nine, bam, maybe we could play five through nine. Let's, well, we have to decide right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five, bam, and the one crack. Hashtag old. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness the year hand we've got lots of gaps oh and now we have dragons dragons okay eight two thousand uh the 2018 hand we have a gap we have no two no two bam um let's see i think i would rather play something without a gap Five, six, let's get rid of the seven. It'd be nice maybe to get uh, ones, fives with flowers. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of work. That's an option, but that will take a lot of work because we have only one flower and we need three. Uh, let's see, we do have a pair of eights now. Um, let's, let's get rid of the four. We have to have something to pass here. So I'm thinking, let's get rid of the four, the five, and the eight. Break up that eight bam. I'm kind of thinking the consecutive run hand with the green dragon or the little odds hand, although we have a gap, no three bam. Okay, the tiles are speaking to you, Judy. You think I should play the one five flower? <gasps> Oh no, look, someone gave us a pair of two dots. I like to use that if I can, but in this case, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay, let's get rid of the eight, the two. I can't use that two and the red. 
because we could play, uh, if we get a three bam, that would be ideal. If we get a three bam, that would be really nice. Uh, let's see, five, six, seven, five, seven. Let's get rid of these three. Let's do one of each suit. That's a good mix. We could still play one five flowers if we get more flowers. Here, we keep getting the five dot. Okay, let's get rid of the seven, two dot. Okay, they want two tiles. So we'll give them the, uh, the north and the two. I wonder if they were the ones that gave me a pair. I really try to use the pair if I can, but in this case it didn't work because we're in odds. And of course the two is an even. Oh, we got a four. And we got the uh, eight bam back. So we have consecutive little odds. We've got probably four or five discards, six discards probably. That's not good. We have a long way to go. Hi, Alyeska. Internet problems. Oh my gosh, I've had so many technical problems lately. Today, this weekend, this whole weekend, actually. Two dots. Oh, well, that's all right. I think I might have to make it a short night anyway uh, for several reasons, but let's try to get in some wins. That would be very nice. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but before this year, I would hold flowers for joker bait if I wasn't gonna use them. But it just seems like, maybe it's the way the card is, maybe there are just too many pairs of flowers, but I hardly ever see people use jokers with flowers in exposures. So joker bait with flowers just haven't, haven't come through for me. Has anybody else experienced that? Seven Hi, Cheryl. Characters. Welcome to the live stream from Greenville, South Carolina. Three That's really pretty up there. North oh, there, someone threw the three bam. I think I wanted that last time. No, no, no. That would have been a nice towel for this one. We could play the one, three, five concealed hand, but it's not coming in and we're not getting flowers. I don't know if that one three or one five flower is going to work. We need six and we only have one, one flower. Seven characters. Now we have a pair of white dragons. Let's see. We still don't have to pick a hand. I just like to stay fluid. If I get a five crack, I might even switch to like numbers with flower, with the uh, dragons. Yeah, lots of wall left for sure. We're just getting started. Green dragon. Okay, oh no, we're not taking that. No way, well, we can't. Um, Shirley, yep, I hope to do reach next. I think reach is next. Oh, we got some joker bait. Let's get rid of that five. five dots. So five, seven, look at this. This is a nightmare. Sound Let me eight. see here. Nine. So next week is Reach live stream. I hope to do it too. I've been playing um, in a little bit of spare time that I have just to keep my mind in the game. So I would be ready for a live stream. I get my fanny kicked with Reach because I'm I'm just a kind of a beginner. I, I would say I'm I'm an advanced beginner. Does that make sense? I know all the Yaku, maybe that's it. And I know the mechanics of the game, but I have a long way to go as far as learning the complexities of reach and strategy. So now we have a, a pung of dragons. I'm kind of thinking we should look for the three bam, maybe some jokers and play the one, three, five concealed hand at least at least we can stay concealed and play defensively and try to get some jokers. Uh, Susie asks if I go to tournaments. I do if they're in my area. Uh, we don't have very many tournaments 
here in the Atlanta area that I know of. There, there are a couple a year. Uh, there's one at a local synagogue. There's one at a local senior center that a friend of mine invi invites me to. Um, but those are the only two that I know of in the Atlanta area. So I don't really get to play in tournaments very often. I am going to a tournament though, uh, the second week of August, I've been invited to play in a tournament through um, a no-kill dog shelter fundraiser. Uh, Jamie, uh, oh, her last name is hard to pronounce. Thron, Thron, now I'll have to go look it up. I just know her name is Jamie. Two dots. Okay, uh, one dot. We're gonna get rid of that one dot. Let me see if I can pull up her name. Huh. Because, um, although the, the tournament sold out though. So it's, oh, we're playing Concealed. We're playing, a, oh, Throgmorton. Jamie Throgmorton, that's her name. Her last name, I couldn't remember her last name because it's kind of unusual. Um, so she's, uh, part of a fundraiser for a no-kill dog shelter. This is a, a one-day tournament, and then I'm going to do a lesson, a couple of lessons. Um, so it'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it, and I, I hope to vlog it. So I'll have a special video of my experience. Oh, look, we got a joker badly needed because there's two, three BAMs out right now. I'm going to define this. If you want to define a joker, especially if it's a gap, Define it by just clicking on it and then click define and then pick the tile that you want it to be You'll especially need to know to do that if you want to call for that particular tile because the game will not know you need Any discards for a tile that's missing out of your hand uh, Oh, so Judy said you would have kept the seven dot Well, I was thinking that we could maybe still switch to consecutive with either fours, the four, five BAM with dragons or the six, five BAM. And I'm holding the white with joker bait, although we need to get rid of that right about now. I'll go one more pick. So you would have kept the sevens, the seven dots for what? For joker bait or for how would you have used the seven dots, uh, Judy? Uh, we're playing concealed. So Chris says you should have kept the three dot as a backup for 135 white knitted. Oh, that was a good idea. I didn't think about that, but I would have had to throw away a Punga green dragons. Oh, we got the flower. Okay, now I need to get rid of this uh, these white dragons. Got to get rid of the uh, green dragons. Hi, Carol. Carol from Florida, welcome to the live stream. Uh, odds number four. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I see that now. Yeah, we don't need that, we're playing, uh, cons oh, and there's the seven dot. Oh, I need to get rid of these white dragons. Shoot, I keep forgetting. Oh, oh that could come back to bite me, especially because there's a one dot. Uh, for the player across. Oh, shoot. I need to get rid of that right now. Four there it goes. Oh, and now look what we have here. We're in between. Oh, shoot. We're in between the consecutive five, six dragons versus concealed one, three, five. We have a gap. But at this stage of the game, there are no one BAMs out right now. I think I'm going to get rid of this white dragon. We still don't have to pick right now. There, now it's out of there. Okay, so uh, Chris said you should have kept the three dot as a backup for one, three, five white. Um, the other thing is I would have had to throw away a flower in a late, late in the game, and I, I don't like doing that either. It would have been a risky, risky discards because there's no flowers in that hand, although it looks like nobody wants it anyway. So maybe that was a good, a good thought. 
Okay, I, I tend to avoid the knitteds because they're so specific and there's not a lot of flexibility with those when you, when you get committed there. Um, so we'll see what happens. This hand is still viable, even though there's two, three bams out. There's one six bam out, two five bams are out. I think the consecutive hand is a foregone thought there. And nobody wanted it, I need to get rid of that. Let's see, there's one five crack out. Knitted, it, it's really kind of pseudo knitted. It's not truly knitted. Um, I'll just get rid of the six bam. Knitted is kind of a borrowed term from um, Western style mahjong, which is played by people in Great Britain. It's also, there's knitted tie or knitted sets in uh, mahjong competition rules. I think um, people in India also play with knitted sets. And basically knitted means that your sets, uh, even though you have a set of three, it relates to another set of three. So in this case, for American style, people are calling where you have two suits in your hand and the middle number in this case matches the dragons. So they're calling that knitted because you're, you have, for example, for the consecutive run hand, second from the bottom, you have a one, two, three, and the matching dragon for the middle number. And that, that's kind of the knitted concept. Okay, so I didn't throw that, thank goodness. We have a three, six, nine, one suit hand, the, the fourth one down. So that was the win. We were three away. The hand was still viable, which is nice. Uh, let's see, the player to the left of the winner, they were playing, it looks like, like numbers with ones, but they had, they had no jokers and a long way to go. And I knew they needed those one bams, which is one reason why I did not want to discard them, but they wouldn't have been ready for them. The player across looks like they were trying to play something with evens, but they had a gap of no twos. So they had... I'm not sure what they were doing actually. So anyway, um, I hope that makes sense with the knitted uh, for American style. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I guess it can apply, but it's not knitted in the true sense of the term, but that's okay. We can use it. So let's join this table. Oh, Susie says you like the re end recap. Thank you. I've had a couple of um, recommendations to do that. And sometimes I forget about it, but um, I'm trying to remember to do a, a recap of what everybody was playing if I can figure it out. So let's see what we can do here. This is the kind of stuff that I keep getting. Look at this. I have a pair of seven bams and a pair of west winds. Those totally don't go together. I mean, I suppose I could play the news pair hand. Let's try. Because we do have a 7-8, which is consecutive. In which case, let's keep the 8-9. So we have kind of a consecutive run and a potential for the news pair hand. But this means that we have to pass dragons and like numbers, and I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. So we got to give something up. Maybe we should, let's see here, seven, eight, eight, nine. Let's give up the three, nine, and west. At least maybe we could keep part of the news and recover if, new, if winds come. So I'm thinking seven, eight, consecutive hand with the dragons, the third one down again. Someone just gave us a flower. That was generous. So now we have a flower. Let's see, we have a seven dot. We do have a, a lot of consecutive run going on. Let's get rid of the three, four, um, and let's go ahead and get rid of the, the wins at this point. 
and focus on seven, eight, seven, eight consecutive, seven, eight, nine. We just got a nine. We could do five, seven, nine odds. We have a pair of Norse now too. Okay, I don't think the Norse are gonna be helpful. Let's see, news with dragons. Yeah, it's too late, I already gave it up. And we have no multiples. I like to build around the multiples, which is the seven. That's where, that's really where the strength is. Five, seven, maybe the odds I'm thinking. So let's, let's go ahead and, and commit to that. This is a bit of a risky pass right here. Oh, you know what? I should have kept that, that green dragon. Oh, because I could have played five, seven, nine with the dragon concealed. Okay, well, let's um, see if we can recover now. Now, so I have two pairs of sevens. Let's play like numbers with sevens and flowers, I think. So I was thinking five, seven, seven, nine, but I have a pair of flowers now. Let's go ahead and keep them though. I should have kept that green dragon, but now I have multiples in the sevens. Well, the one, two, bam, I would have to throw away a pair of seven dots. I'd like to use all three of the multiples, the flowers and the sevens. That's my hope. Okay, this is another risky pass. You have 2008. The 2018, yes, but I would have to throw away two pair. I don't, I want to build around the multiples. That's where the strength is for American style, in my opinion. So we got the green dragon back, but I think that we're, we're stronger with either five, seven, seven, nine, which is the second hand down or like numbers with sevens. So I think I'm going to keep it going here. No twelves. Nope. Because, um, I would have had to throw away a pair. I'm trying to utilize the multiples. Look what someone just sent, darn. I'm just gonna pass one blind because I do not wanna pass a 2018. So I'll pass a West one, maybe. We have the 2018 here, <laughs> but that's not, it looks pretty, but it's, it's not gonna be helpful. That's four tiles that I can do nothing with right now because I have no, no other tiles to go with it. Um, okay, thank you, Chris. I'll take the good vibes. Five, seven, seven, nine, or like numbers with sevens. We'll have to see what comes. There's another seven. Let's get rid of the two. Let's keep the consecutive here. So we're in between like numbers with sevens, five, seven, seven, nine, so big odds or like, like numbers, like numbers with seven, big odds or consecutive. We're kind of spanning three categories right now. And that's just fine, that happens often. So we'll stay flexible and see what comes. This is where decision-making and uh, scouting the table comes in to play because you base your decisions on what's being discarded and what's being exposed while monitoring the number of tiles left in the wall. So I think since we have a joker now, I'm pretty, I feel pretty good about like numbers with sevens because we, that's where the multiples are and we'll be able to leverage the pair of flowers as well. The five, seven, seven, nine has no gaps, but we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. Let's get rid of the eight crack. There's a pair out there. There's another nine, a nine bam, but I don't think that's gonna be helpful. Okay, I'm thinking like numbers with sevens and flowers. It'd be nice to get more jokers or sevens or flowers would be nice too. Okay, that's not helpful. If you're just joining the live stream, thank you for coming. We're playing American style at Mahjong time. 
Oh yeah, we don't want that. So uh, if you are new to watching the live stream, chat hashtag new. Oh, look, we got another flower. Okay, let's see. There are no nine dots out. There are no five bams out. I really would like to use these flowers though, especially because I hardly ever get them. I'm gonna pong. I'm gonna go ahead and commit to like numbers with sevens. Let's hope we get some more flowers. Okay, Carrie, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. I'm so glad you came. And Maureen, yes, I've been, okay, we're gonna Kong that. Let's get rid of that white dragon. I'm gonna keep the seven crack. There are no seven cracks out. Um, Carol says, I love the videos you've been watching. Hope to branch out. You've been enjoying the nosh. <laughs> I hope to be, start doing the nosh and such videos again too. I've just been so, so busy. Uh, let's discard five, bam. Um, but I, I miss doing the nosh and such videos, but um, I've had some crazy schedule changes lately and I'm hoping to get back to normal. Oh, someone's playing a quint. I'm gonna get rid of that east. Okay, someone is playing a quint. They have a nine crack out. So let's see if we can figure out what they're doing. I'm gonna pass on that, of course. So uh, there, there are three six cracks out. So I don't think they're playing the consecutive one on the bottom. There's one of each dragon is out. I'm gonna get rid of the south. south wind. Let's see if this is the one. Nope. Now I have a feeling they're playing the dragon and, and wind quint. They could be playing the 369 quint though. There's one three crack out. No, they can't be because there's three six cracks out. So that whittles that down too. Uh, so they're playing either all nines, nines with the consecutive little mini set, or they're playing the dragon and wind quint. There are no norths out. I have a feeling that's the one they're playing. We'll see. So we'll have to keep an eye on that quint. Welcome to the live stream, Pamela. I'm glad you came by. I hope you enjoy it. We basically play games at Mahjong time and I do commentary, um, just sharing my thought processes around decision making. And then people in the, um, in the live stream enter or chat their comments and questions along the way. So if you have any questions just or, or comments or recommendations for what I'm doing, type it in chat. There it is, north, I knew it. Okay, we finally got a flower. Okay, and we have a little joker bait with the seven. Someone threw a seven crack, so it's probably not gonna get us anything, but we need one more flower for this. I think they need a red dragon. Well, they could need a white dragon too. There's one white and one red out. Look, we just got another joker. Very nice. We'll see. We'll see what happens. They will throw both a seven bam and a flower. Oh, there's Kong. And of course, everybody knows we need a flower and I'm okay with that. Maybe we'll draw it before the Quint wins. I just hope I don't draw a, a dragon. If I draw a dragon, I will cringe. Seven characters. Oh, I don't want to draw a dragon. Oh, please don't let me draw a dragon. I wouldn't mind drawing a green dragon because there are two out. That I think would be safe. It's either probably a red dragon or a white dragon, I bet. That's my bet. Oh, look, we got it. Seven dots. Mahjong. Oh, look, they weren't ready. They needed they needed more jokers, I guess. Okay, we got it. Woohoo! 
We won one. Oh my goodness. Let's hope that ends my losing streak. So let's see what everybody was playing here. The quint didn't come in to my left. They needed more jokers or another white dragon. There was one white dragon out, so they they were um, they had uh, they were a little anemic uh, with their dragon. The player across has a one two. They were trying to play one two three four. They needed jokers. They had too many two bams. I think that's what they were trying to do over there, um, or or that either that or one two Kong with dragons. But their green dragons went down. It looks like they couldn't get any jokers to help them out. And then the player to the right, it looks like they were trying to play um, maybe, oh, wow, I don't know what they're trying to play. Maybe something consecutive with one, two, three. I think they may have switched to defense against the Quint. That may be what the player across from me was doing also. But I was playing to win. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? That's, oh, I think it's, oh, let's see. There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Judy. Okay, now we can see. I think they switched to defense against the Quint. And then over here, I think they might have switched to defense too. It looks like they were trying to play the one, two dragon hand. But their green dragons went down. And then... Our quint, they were anemic with their dragon. So, yeah, we had a, a win under our belt. Let's see if we can join another table. All right, here's a table we can join. Looks like a, a nice full house. Thank you, James. Okay, Peggy says, sometimes you trash your hand if you know you can't win so no one can figure out what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, and it just clearly looks like you're playing defense. If I'm playing a 25-point hand against a Quint, I might, I might actually break up my hand. But if I'm ready to win, I will play to win. You never know if they're going to be ready. Just like that Quint, they were not ready. Okay, here we go. All right, we have a three crack, a multiple and a three crack. We do have another three. I'm thinking we could play maybe three, six, nine. There's um, two suits with three and six. We could potentially play something consecutive with one, two, three. So I think I'll give up the eight bam, the east, and I really don't like passing white dragons. So let's see. Let's give up. Let's see. Three, six, three, six. Let's give up the two, actually. I think I was a little stretched out, stretched out thin there. If we get a five bam, we could even play little odds. We got a three bam. So now... We have two multiples in threes. Maybe we could play north and south with threes. Let's give up the one dot. Let's see here. We're going to, no, we can't keep the north and south, or that would mean I have to pass like numbers. And I, I personally think that's just as bad as passing a pair. I don't like to do it. So I think we could probably go ahead and commit to like numbers with threes and the white dragon. This dragon actually is the correct dragon, which was very fortuitous. Okay, we could potentially play something consecutive. Let's get rid of the 8-1 south. We still have the 369 capability here. Okay, Judy says something about odds is difficult. Difficult to acquire. Oh, did you have to step away? Oh, look, here's a 234. 234. It looks pretty, but I don't think it's going to help. 23. We could potentially do a 23 or a 34. Let's give up the 2. The 2 north and 6 dot. Let's give up on the 369. 
we can focus on either like numbers with threes or consecutive run with maybe the three four concealed pung hand okay now we have three four five six we still have some three six nine capability here um but we have gaps of course let's give it up all right here we go north and south oh north and south with odds yeah i think that's a hard hand it is a 30 point hand i agree i think that is a hard hand okay now we have a four so here we have a three four pung hand developing the um consecutive or consecutive run the last hand under consecutive run uh, let's give up the one crack the weather has been absolutely beautiful in georgia just gorgeous it's a little warm of course because we're in georgia but i do enjoy it it's really pretty everything's very green year round so i do enjoy that all right uh, we want three tiles to pass two that's good so there we go seven crack one bam north i think that's a pretty good pass even though we're passing two odds they're so far apart the only hand that could be used for would be an addition hand and it's very specific and we got a similar pass from our opponent so i'm not worried we did get a keeper too so i think we could play either like numbers with threes or the three four concealed pung hand So we have probably four discards, four or five discards right now. I like to discard the big year tiles. Okay, when I say big year tiles, I'm referring to the 2018 hand under singles and pairs. If I'm not going to use those tiles, I get rid of them right away. The 218 in bams and cracks, because I want to try to sabotage that hand since it's the most expensive hand on the card so uh, we do have two jokers now we have joker bait with the seven bams so i'm going to hold that for joker bait we'll see if we can hold on to that for as long as possible see if we can get a joker out of it i think okay four character we do not want to call that we're in between like numbers with threes. I think I'm going to get rid of the white dragon next. And let's focus on the concealed pung hand because we have two jokers and joker bait. Nine dots. One character. Ah, one dot. Don't need it so we're looking for a four crack there's one four crack out right now no other tiles that we need are out besides that one four crack no, our threes have not been thrown yet because i'm still considering the like numbers with threes oh there's the second four crack oh that's a bummer all right well we'll just have to keep an eye on that right now we're gonna have to dedicate one of those jokers to a four crack so <clears throat> i'm leaning a little towards the like number option at the moment uh let's see elizabeth oh one bam don't want it the pictures of the new floors look nice did you get total new floors or just reduce um with the house, this house, we're, we've been here for two years now. We had carpeting. Okay, white dragon, I'm not taking that. I don't think, I'm gonna Kong it. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of the four because there are already two out. I can Kong the three crack. All we need is a, all we need is a joker or a three bam to get ready. Uh, so, yep i decided to kong the the white dragon oh my goodness they didn't take the white dragon that's kind of a scary thought there okay anyway um we had carpeting in the formal dining room and in the family room and it was oh that is a bummer 
it was not in good shape so we decided to to have it torn out and we put hardwood floor so now the main level of our house is all hardwood floor so we had hardwood in the kitchen and in the attached casual dining space oh shoot so anyway they had to sand all that down and refinish it so everything matches it looks really nice we're very happy that we did it okay so they won with the news concealed hand which is very nice so i want to congratulate that and let's do the handy dandy view hand feature this player was trying for it looks like the concealed 2468 hand maybe or no maybe the two the second one down two four six with pairs of eights i think that's probably what i would have tried for two four six eight with pairs of eights they could also have played the two four six eight pair hand if they could have could have had flowers but they were they had a gap so i think they were probably closer they're probably closest to the pair hand but they had a gap and then let's see oh the player across let's see they were playing it looks like they were trying to play the odds pair hand uh the third one down two flowers one three five in one suit five seven nine in a second suit uh so it looks like they this pong was holding them back i think they maybe were vacillating um between the one three five kong hand with flowers maybe and then they could have used the five nine for joker bait they were really in between but their one cracks went down so they may have been attempting that hand and then had to switch uh let's see okay uh let's see if we can join another table oh they're all taken up all right well let's let's um let's join one right here let's see six second auto okay chris thank you for coming by okay thank you so much for coming it was nice to have you here we'll see you next time we'll see you in the repost yeah, we've been playing for an hour so i think we'll keep going stick around anybody who would like to watch some more mahjong and chat in the uh, live chat have a good week chris we'll see you online or maybe at the next live stream the next live stream will be japanese mahjong richi richi mahjong where i get my fanny kicked usually Sometimes I do good, but I'm still learning. All right, let's see what we can do here. So we have a pair of fives and a pair of eights. A pair of fives and a pair of eights. That's not good. Uh, we could play something consecutive, maybe. It's a long shot. I think what I'd rather do is focus on evens let's focus on evens and then maybe we could use the fives as joker bait yeah one win so far which is better than what i've been doing because i have been on a terrible losing streak every now and again i i win one but um yeah it kind of comes and goes it's very odd how that happens as far as the streaks you go on a winning streak and then you go on a losing streak oh we got a two bam so now we have a multiple with a two bam so we have a two two six eight eight i'm thinking two four six eight maybe two four six eight with dragons two four six eight with opposite dragons we have a gap though no we have no four bam I think we'll break up the five right now and then we can maybe pass let's get rid of the eight crack 
I don't like passing two wins together. Okay, Maureen has a beginner question. What does joker bait mean again? Okay, joker bait is when you have, usually it's a pair, a pair that you don't need. Any multiple really that you don't need. It could be a pung even, uh, but you know, I would try to use that pung. So if you have a pair that you don't need, you try to keep it so that during the pick and discard phase of the game, if you hold it for as long as possible, and then late in the game, like at the end of the third wall, or maybe the middle of the third wall, discard one of the pair, and then somebody makes an exposure with a joker. On your next turn, you can use the second tile in that pair to exchange it for a joker. That's how joker bait works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it's all about timing. Timing is critical. And it depends on what you have in your hand and what you're playing as to whether or not it is fruitful. But it's worth learning how to do. Um, all right, so we have lots of twos and a pung of eights. I'm thinking the two, four, six, eight with opposite dragons. Let's get rid of the green five east. It's a little bit risky, but I'm also thinking we have a potential for that two, four, six, eight pair hand. Okay, so I hope that made sense, uh, Maureen. Okay, look what we got, a flower. That's always very generous when someone passes you a flower. Very nice. I'll take it. So let's give up the five crack. Oh yeah, I want to keep going. I hope someone else does. So we may have to sacrifice this joker because we're kind of, we have, we need a four dot and we'll have no gaps for a pair hand. Okay, so let's give up the red dragon. We have a gap with no four bam. So I think the two, four, six, eight is kind of a long shot. We can always revert to maybe a two, four, six, eight category hand. It'd be nice to get a four dot. It would be really nice to get a four dot, I think. We could even maybe play a year hand here. Two, eight. Yeah, I think it's kind of a long shot. I think I'd rather stick with um, evens. Uh, let's see. So Judy says, if you have a pung and that you don't need, you might pass a pair and wait and see if an exposure comes out. Oh, I do not like passing pairs. I, I really will break up my hand before I do it. I do not feel comfortable doing that. Oh, that, that makes me cringe. And everyone has a little different, you know, strategy. Some people don't have any qualms passing pairs or like numbers. Some people, I, I remember recently I got a pair of wins and a wind and I was in wins. I mean, it, it just fit right beautifully into my hand. Okay, so we got a two dot. Uh, we have three tiles to pass. We need a, a four dot and we will be very close to a pair hand. A two, four, six, eight pair hand. Oh gosh, it would be nice to get that four dot. I would love to play a pair hand. This would be the second hand down under singles and pairs. We did not get it. Okay, let's get rid of the one dot. One dot. You got a pair of flowers in the Charleston. Yeah, I think I would fall out of my chair if I got two flowers in the Charleston. Hmm. I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, I, I think it would just, it would, it would take my breath away. Oh, we need a four dot really badly right now. The nice thing though about playing pair hands is that you're concealed. So if your pair hand goes dead, you can switch to something in that category. In this case, we're playing evens. So we can switch to the evens category. And since we have no exposures, we have a lot of flexibility and we can recover with something else, maybe. So we'll see what happens. A four dot would be very nice. 
Oh, now we have two jokers. Okay, this is when I give up on the pair hand. If I draw in jokers, I switch. So I'm going to switch to the 2468 concealed hand. Maybe we have a gap with no, we have no flat, no white dragons. We can use the two bam as joker bait. Yeah, we'll get rid of the nine dot. Okay, the four dot is, is the pain point right now. If we do get a four dot, we have one discard, so we still don't have to commit. Okay, you got two flowers in the same pass. Oh, one bam, we'll get rid of that. Okay, um, I'm just wondering if we could maybe switch yeah, it's too late, I think, to switch to a year hand. We have no wins at all. Yeah, not taking it. I won't commit to taking a Kong, for example, in this case, if I have a gap. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of the eight. So at this point, look what we have now. We have a gap with no four dot. And here now we have a pung of twos. I'm thinking of switching to like numbers with twos or maybe even a quint with twos. One and that is pretty much because, we, I'm gonna get rid of the six dot, because we have a gap. Anytime there's a gap, that should take a lower per precedence. And we have here a pung of twos. And there's one two crack out. So I think we should switch to twos and we'll keep that green dragon. Maybe we could even switch to the twos with dragons. Let's get rid of that eight dot. So let's just look at this here. Uh, maybe the two crack can be the, can be the um, Kong. So if we move the tiles here so you can see, there we go, twos with flowers or twos with dragons, I mean. Twos with dragons, or we could do twos with flowers, but we only have one flower. We still have eight dots that we can get rid of, so we really don't have to commit yet. And nobody wanted the eight dots, they're already out, so these are safe discards. Not too late for a year hand, we have no ones. Oh, and there's the, uh there's the four dot. four dot. See, that's what's been happening to me lately. Uh, let's see here. If we were to switch, we we would have to wait. We'd have to get that last one dot. There are there are two, three one dots out right now. We would need either the one dot, the eight crack, one crack. We still could potentially switch. Yeah. Uh, let's get, I'm going to get rid of the eight crack. Eight I'm thinking maybe we could play a quint. Either the like, either the like number quint or the like number dragon hand. We'll see. Because here we have a two, three okay. now. And all the flowers are going down. I'm kind of thinking we need to get rid of this flower now. There's three red dragons out. I'm kind of thinking of playing the quint. We're a bit shy on twos and jokers, but the dragons, I don't know if we're going to get enough dragons. The two crack is all we have for the Kong. So we'll see. We still have two discards. We don't have to commit, but the minute a two goes down, we're going to have to decide. Pass. There goes a dragon. Okay. Let's quint. We're going to quint. Okay, so we need... We need to get rid of these dragons and the uh, flower. And we need a two dot or a, oh, 
We need a two dot. Oh, and there's a flower. Okay, we need a two dot, a two crack, one crack, four crack. Yeah, this was a little bit risky, a bit aggressive, I must say. But yeah, that's how I roll sometimes. I like to push quince. Uh-oh. Oh, they weren't ready for it. Okay, we can get rid of the white dragon. I probably should get rid of this these flowers pretty quick here because we're heading into the end of the third wall. That's when you want to get rid of flowers, fresh tiles, and joker bait. It looks like there are a couple flowers out. I'm going to get rid of the flower. I don't want to be stuck with flowers late in the game. And there was a pause, so somebody has flowers, which is not surprising, really. But you don't want to hold on to those into the fourth wall if you're not going to use them. Those would be scary tiles towards the end of a game. I'm going to get rid of that now. Okay, let's see. Surely this is where patience comes in. Oh, yeah. This game definitely uh, kind of forces you to be patient because you just have to wait when people are processing and thinking and you have to sit there and wait. It's character training. Okay, now those Souths, there are two Jokers available. So potentially we could snag some Jokers. You know what, I probably should, oh no, this west is a safe tile. I'm going to hold on to that. Let's see here, because we're heading into the fourth wall now. The three bam is a fresh tile. I should get rid of that next. The six dot is, uh, there are three six dots out, so that will be a good safe discard. Let's see, there's only one one crack left. Okay, we got our pair. We need a four crack though. Uh-oh. I think our hand just went dead. Yep. We need to switch to defense or... Two characters. Um, oh, no, we're not ready for it. The two, we need, uh, we need to switch to the Kong being the cracks because there are... The four cracks are all out and the one cracks are all out. There's only one three dot out, so we recovered that one pretty quickly. Now we need uh, two jokers. We need two jokers to make this work. And it's still viable. Four bamboos. It'd be nice to get that last south. Seven dots. The four bam was just thrown. Four so we need a three dot and two more jokers. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I would really like to draw that south. Four bamboos. Six bamboos. That's a safe discard. The west is a safe discard. This three crack is a fresh tile. I should have gotten rid of that a long time ago. Oh, that's a pass. This three crack, I'm a little nervous about throwing it. Uh-oh. They just got that joker. I need that, I needed that joker. Six I'm gonna throw the three crack. I do not want to be stuck with a fresh tile. Oh no. Oh good, nobody wanted it. This nine is a good tile. There are three of them out, so that was a good tile to draw right now. Those are, these are both good discards. Yeah, probably. I doubt I'm going to get two more jokers, three more jokers at this point. I'll throw the nine. There are two four dots out. I have two more picks. I have a joker and one really good discard, so we'll play defense at this point. We got two away from a quint, though. I think that was pretty good. I think it's a good exercise, and uh, I like pushing. I like forcing 
I like forcing hands. Nobody wants a West. West and then is. we'll throw the Joker last. Nine dots. That was interesting. Five dots. Joker. Okay. There it goes. Joker. Pretty Joker. All right. Let's see. Six characters. One more pick. Three dots. Okay. Oh, like numbers with sevens. Let's let's take a look around the table now. I really like this. Uh, I I knew that you could turn the table, but I forgot all about that. So Judy, thank you for that tip. So like numbers with sevens, they needed a joker. That's that's a pretty hand. Uh, let's see over here. We have three six nine. It looks like they were trying maybe the three six nine, and they couldn't get a six bam. There was only one six bam left, so they were two away from the three six nine concealed hand. And then for this player here, it looks like they were trying to maybe play, I don't know what they're doing, with three three green dragons. I hope I hope they weren't trying to play that concealed hand. It almost looks like they were trying to do the concealed hand with a, a pung of green dragons. That might have been a mistake. Um, they have a gap of no one bam. So I'm not quite sure what they were trying to do. Let's see, Kathleen, I think you ended up with the pair of four dots for the original pair hand. Oh, yes, that's terrible. Oh, that's discouraging. Okay. Let's move on and play another one. Okay, we need one more player. If you're just joining the live stream, we're playing American style at Mahjong time. If you haven't tried Mahjong time yet, I do have some 30-day VIP codes. You can try it out for free. Just send me an email. My email is in the video description, or you can send me your email through Facebook Messenger, and I'll send you a code so you can try Mahjong Time. I think it's the best platform out there for games. I, I feel like it's the most lifelike. I know there are some other games out there, uh, other platforms, and I've tried them all. And by far, this is my personal favorite. Okay, here we have wins and a pair of ones. So I think we should play the year hand with news. This would be the concealed year hand. So let's hold wins and dragons. And... Oh, I would have liked to have passed one of each suit, but I don't like passing like numbers. I don't like passing like numbers. That sounds redundant, but really it's not. I think like numbers are the bane of my existence. Oh, we got a keeper. We got a two bam. Okay, so now we have a west. Let's get rid of the nine and the one and the red. And I wanna do that because if the eights don't come in, which is part of the pair, I don't like having a gap with a pair, uh, we could always switch to news with the flower and that's also a concealed hand. It's really nice if you can play concealed hands because they're a higher value. Oh, we got an east, you know what? We could play news we could play the news concealed, the news pair hand. We have N E W. Mm. And we have a one, two. I really don't like this. Look what I'm going to pass. But we may be playing 
a pair hand, so I, I think the risk is worth it. This may take somebody's breath away. Here we go. Would you do this or would you break up the bands? Or would you have stuck with, let's see, if we had stuck with the year hand, we would have had to have passed two wins. We would have had to have passed two wins, which I think is equally dangerous. I think it was all dangerous, actually. But I think the risk is worth it if we can play a pair hand. Let's see what we get. We got a wind. Oh, and we got an eight too, look. Okay, um, we have N-E-W-S. Let's see, we have all BAMs to pass. Oh, shoot, 2018, we have, oh no. Okay, let's continue the Charleston and see if we can recover the year hand because we have a joker and I don't wanna pass all BAMs. Let's, we're gonna to have to pass two wins though, which I don't like doing. Okay, we're gonna to try to go back to the uh, year hand. I don't know if we'll get that white dragon back. Let's see. Nope, not yet, but we have tiles we can pass. Maybe we'll get the wins back and we can go back to the pair hand. That was kind of a tough position, but I don't like stopping the Charleston. I'd rather push through. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. I would like to get that white dragon back or the wins, one or the other. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got an eight, nice. Okay, uh, we could pass three. So we can use the joker for the missing white dragon. So we went right back to the news year hand and I did give up a tile. I was hoping for that pair hand though. I think the year hand was the better idea though. So had I known, and in hindsight, oh, look what we got. <laughs> we got the wins back. That's funny. Okay, so let's count. We have one, two, oh, nope, pass. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards the year hand. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards the concealed news hand. We just picked up a two bam. Yeah, I think definitely the news pair hand we should play. So, I mean, not the news pair hand, the news year hand. So we have a gap, but we have a joker that we can use for that gap. And I'm okay with that. One the only challenge is that I passed the white dragon and it didn't come back in the Charleston, which means somebody kept it. So that is not a good sign. We'll see what happens here. I don't know, you know what? We could still play the news pair hand. Look, let's see what we get. We can get rid of this flower before we have to decide. We're three away from the news pair hand and we're equally oh, a distance away from the news year hand. Oh, but there's two white dragons out now. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we don't need a red dragon. Hmm, I'm kind of thinking, oh, all those whites, look at that. Oh no, okay, um, let's see. Hi, uh, Judy, you missed the last couple of weeks in need of an update. Okay, one dot we don't need. Welcome, Judy. I, I actually had to cancel a couple of uh, live streams because we had a project going on at home and it really messed up the schedule and my ability to live stream. 
so I haven't been able to do it. This is the first time in a couple of weeks. Okay, I'm gonna throw the flower. Shoot. Okay, we could still play the year uh, hand and just hope for jokers. We're probably closest to that. Hmm. There are there are two Souths out, so I doubt the news pair hand would work at this point. Yeah, there's now another joker. We could use that for the white dragon. So we can get rid of the north and the west next. I'm going to identify these as white dragons. And again, the way you do that is you click on the joker, and then you click define, and then you select what tile you want it to be. We'll get rid of that red. So there are two south south. That's a weakness right now. We have a weakness. Yep, two weeks no live stream. I missed you too. I like doing the live streams. I think it's fun. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, Mahjong time is your your favorite because there's you're you have a, such a vision visionary personality. Um, you mean like with the hands? I can I I can see where a hand can go. If that's what you mean, yes. I think you really do have to be a visionary to, to play well, uh, because you know when I teach people how to play this game, a lot of times when I I say, well, let's go for this category, and they'll say, but I have I don't have this or I don't have that. You have to be able to see where the where the hand can go. You have to have a vision for where the hand can go because you're always going to have gaps at the beginning unless of course you have a hand from heaven which is very rare it's never happened to me ever so i i hope one day to have a hand from heaven but it's very rare oh look we got a flower back i'm going to get rid of it though i do not want to be stuck with a flower so i'm going to get rid of it now Oh yeah, we don't need that. We're playing a concealed hand. So now there's a one bam out. There's three white dragons out. There's still one more white dragon. White dragon. Oh shoot. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the winds. Maybe we can get a joker out of that seven crack. Although <clears throat> that seven crack is a fresh tile. That is a fresh tile. I like to get rid of that before the end of the third wall, which will, <clears throat> shoot, <coughs> I was hoping for those jokers. So maybe two more picks and we should get rid of the seven crack. But maybe, <coughs> maybe the player across has is playing like numbers oh shoot they're they need nine bams there's one nine bam available there Two bamboos. that is a pass let's get rid of the north okay there are two five cracks out we need to probably get rid of this seven crack although i don't think anybody needs it nobody needs it there are still two Souths out, so we're safe. This hand is still viable. Seven dots. We'll get rid of that seven crack. Seven there are two five cracks out. There's one eight crack out. Green dragon. Yep, Elizabeth, I hate gaps too. They, they are uncomfortable unless you have jokers that you can use, of course. Now we need another joker because that one bam just went down. Seven dots. That was the second one, bam. Let's get rid of the eight crack. Eight characters. There was already one out. I don't think anybody needs the two dot either. Six so I think we have two safe tiles. Southwest. We have a, almost a whole wall to go though. Seven dots. Yeah, we don't need the west. West.
three dots. So they most likely are going to need, seven characters. they have seven, nine, they need five bams. There are none out and they need flowers. Red dragon. If I draw either, I may switch to defense because we need two One. jokers to make this work. All the uh, two jokers and, and a third yeah. south just went down. Most likely we're going to switch to defense. Let's see, there are no six dots out. We'll throw the two. two I am thinking we need to switch to defense at this point. Eight dots. Green dragon. There are two five cracks out. I, I think that might be safe. There's a five bam. I'm switching to defense. Five I think. Oh. There are no six dots out. This player over here might be playing three, six, nine. This player over here, uh-oh. Oh, good, that six dot is safe. Eight cracks, there are three eight cracks out. This player to my right might be playing three, six, nine. Yep, three, six, nine. Okay, very nice. Okay, so they won with 369 mixed suit. Fourth one down. Very nice. Okay, and uh, this player here, I never know how to pronounce that name. Cool 2. Cool 2? I'm not sure. Um, they were ready to win. They needed a flower. They were playing, in fact, the 579 one suit hand. Big odds. And then the player over here, they were trying for three. Oh, they couldn't get flowers. Oh, there's where the gap is very painful, especially if it's the pair. Do you see here? They needed a pair of flowers. They committed to the uh, consecutive Kong hand, but they had no flowers. So that, that was, I'm sure, very painful. Okay, let's see if we can join another table. We might be able to play two more games. Here's the table. Hopefully we can join. We got in by the skin of our teeth. Okay, can't see the, the table helper. I have the table helper covered because I prefer to have the chat up for the live stream because it is recording for the live stream. I may see if I can do something different with that. I'm not sure. I'm still learning how to how to use the tools. So I'll see if we can get the helper out. But I do have the discards laid out flat and in order. So they are a little easier to see discards. We have no multiples. So whenever I have no multiples, I just systematically go through the categories and figure out what to play whatever we have the most of. And I think we probably have the most of either big odds. I think big odds is probably gonna be w what we should do. Let's do, let's discard the one, four, and the six. We do have a north and a south. If we get wins, we could play wins. Maybe we could do north and south with nines. Okay, there's a north. So now that's our first multiple. We got ones and two fives. Let's see about, okay, let's get rid of a seven. Oh, look, here's a five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine or north and south with, um, let's get rid of, let's see here, seven, nine. nine okay we can't keep it all let's keep fives let's play north and south with fives or news concealed okay when you go to full screen to see better you can't see the chat window oh i'm sorry about that okay we just got a bunch of nines so 
l let's switch to nines instead of fives. Maybe we'll get the nines back. We might be able to play north and south with nines. Okay, we have a multiple now with a nine. That's nice. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's see if we can continue the Charleston. I think I passed a nine dot. It'd be nice to get that nine dot back. We could play north and south with nines, which is a 30 point hand. Okay, I think we're waiting for something. I hope I'm not hung up. Uh-oh, uh, we're stuck. Are we stuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think that was me. I, I, oh no, and it threw my tile. Oh, that's too bad. I got stuck. I had some kind of a connection. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, so now we need to recover. I'm having connectivity issues. So do you see that? It just threw some of my tiles. Okay. Um, all right, I'm kind of thinking we should switch to a quint. Because now we have a, a pung of nine cracks. Even though we don't have any um, dragons, I think we might have lost the opportunity for north and south with nines unless we get that nine back, that nine bam back. Well, we have tiles we can pass, so... Oh, something's going on. I have to exit. I need to exit and come back, I think because it keeps throwing my tiles for me. Oh, yep. Oh, okay, I gotta exit and, okay, I gotta exit and come back. Oh, man. Okay, well, we got the nine back anyway. I'm gonna exit and come back. If you ever have problems with your interface, exit the game and return, and that should clear it up. It looks like I lost my OBS connection too. Okay, did I lose you? It looks like we're, oh, we're offline, stream complete. Stream. Okay, it looks like we, we lost connection here. Okay, it looks like I didn't miss anything and it didn't throw away any good tiles. Okay, can everybody, let's see here. Yep, okay, hold on. I'm still recording this, but it looks like my, my internet might be down. So I'm gonna keep recording and maybe we can recover. I'm in lim. <laughs> That's what happens when you lose connection. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can come back. I'm going to play the game out. Okay, uh, I'm going to throw the eight. I think we could maybe switch to a quint. Maybe switch to a quint here. Okay, disconnected. Okay, we're live again. I think we're live again. Thank you for hanging in there with me. For those of you who hung in with me, I think we're back. Welcome back. I'm continuing to play. We switched to a quint, but I lost a lot of tiles. Well, I, I didn't really lose too badly, but um, it was disconcerting. Can you all hear me? This will be up in the repost, but I think we could maybe play a quint here. We could still play north and south with nines. There are no norths and souths out. Okay, so we do have some eight, nine. We do have some consecutive run ability here. We also have some like number potential. Yep, the live stream started over, Seven characters. but I am recording, so this will be available in the live in the uh, repost.
Okay, we don't want that. I'm not going to commit to that yet. Because we can still play north and south with nines. Welcome back to the live stream. I lost connectivity, but whatever you, you, oop, we, we're out again. Okay, maybe we should end the live stream. We're out again. Let's see if we can come back. This will be interesting. I hope it doesn't throw a joker. I'm going to move these over. Maybe it'll throw, maybe it will throw my south instead because it's going to start throwing my tiles. I'm going to put these over here too. Okay. Yeah, I'm I've lost connectivity again. Let's see here. Bear with me. This happens occasionally. I don't know what's going on. Yep, we're down. Okay, I think I will go ahead and end this live stream let's see if i can get back on i'll give it another minute but we may need to end the live stream because i think i lost connectivity here we won't be able to play all right yeah i'm having a hard time getting back so let me just go ahead and end the stream this happens occasionally when you go live if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and be sure to click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos or for when I go live. Also, if you liked the live stream up until when I lost my connection, give me a thumbs up and share about the channel so that we can continue to build the community together. For those of you who joined the live stream, thanks for coming by. If you're watching the repost, thanks for visiting as well. Please look below the video for links to lesson playlist and also uh, links to, I think I have a link down there to a game as well. Let's see. It looks like we're live again. Let's see if we can connect. Maybe we can do it. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to try. Okay, I got my connection back. <laughs> I probably lost the game though. Let's see. We're back up. Let's see if we can play. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can recover now. Okay, I'm thinking 6.5 BAM, north and south with nines or a quint. Okay, uh, I'm not ready to commit to that. Let's get rid of the flower. Okay, <clears throat> what time is it? It is 8.45. I almost shut down the live stream. I started doing my closing during the live stream. So <laughs> this has been kind of odd. Thanks for hanging in there with me. This is kind of what happens when you go live. Okay, I think we need to give up on the north and south with odds. Even though, let's see, yeah, there's th there all the Souths are out now. I think we should switch to a uh, Quint. The Quint with nines, there's one nine dot out. Let's get rid of the North. It's off again. It looks like I'm live at the moment, but after this game, I think I probably should end the live stream because we're having connectivity issues. So yeah, that, that makes it a little awkward. I would love to make this quint work even, okay, let's quint. Okay, so we can get rid of these here. 
We need a nine bam. Oh no, I forgot to look at the seven bam. There's only one seven bam left. We may need to use that nine bam for the quint and the nine crack. Six characters. Okay, well let's see what happens. There, there's one eight, or there's only one eight crack out. Mahjong Time says Michelle has left the table. I think the outage is probably on her locale. Yes, yes, that is correct. I'm having connectivity issues, but we'll see if we can recover. This this uh, live stream session is being recorded, so it will be in the repost. Oh, we got a joker. Oh my gosh, we needed that. Okay, let's see. Hmm, this will be interesting. I'd like to get my nine dot back. Oh, they're all out. Oh shoot, pass. That's a bummer. We weren't ready for it. Okay. We need, uh, oh yeah, this, uh, we probably should switch to defense because the seven BAMs are all down now and we would need that nine BAM to be the quint. It's still viable actually, but it's a long shot because we also need the eight crack. There's one eight crack out. We can throw the nine crack, but we need four jokers at this point. Oh no, there's two nine bams left. We might be able to make this work. It's still viable. Can you all hear me? Three bamboos. Six bamboos. I'm gonna throw the green dragon. Green dragon. So this, this quint is still viable. Nine oh, shoot. I was hoping to draw that. Three dots. Oh, we got the eight crack. Look at that. Eight Seven, eight, nine. So at this point, <laughs> we need four jokers. Four jokers. Do you think it's possible? We have one, two, three, four picks. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this is defense at this point. No, so sad. That's a safe tile. We have safe tiles, so yeah, defense at this point. So if you enjoyed the live stream, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel and the videos, please share it with your friends so they can come and watch too and learn different strategies and ideas on how to play. We can grow the community together as well. Joker. Uh, this is a safe tile, I think. And so I really appreciate you coming by and I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the camaraderie. Thank you for sharing if you do. And also if you haven't joined my Facebook channel, or Facebook group, I guess I should say, go to Mahjong Time, or not Mahjong Time, I mean, you could join Mahjong Time's Facebook page too. So go to Mahjong Central Facebook group and join there if you'd like. Oh, flower. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw that right now. Forget that. Um, so anyhow, yeah, let's, um, continue to build the community together. I really appreciate the support and I've made so many friends through the channel. So um, it's really a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it too. If you're watching the repost, don't forget to look below the video for the lesson playlist, links to a game, links to Mahjong time. And again, if you wanna come and play, just send me either an email or an instant message through Facebook and I'll send you a free VIP code so you can play and check it out. All right, I think I'm going to end the live stream now. Thanks so much again for coming everybody and for hanging with me through the technical difficulties. I appreciate that very much. 
And uh, again, if you enjoyed the live stream, even with the technical difficulties, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe and then click the bell. That way you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next live stream, hopefully with no technical difficulties next time. May all your picks be keepers.